Good afternoon, Bryan City Schools. It is a frigid 47 degrees outside. Attention students and staff, the BHS Fall Blood Drive will be Friday, October 28th in the high school gymnasium. If you would like to give blood, the sign-up sheet will be going around in the English classrooms this week. If you do not get signed up during your English class, please come and see Mrs. Elser or Mrs. Novin and get signed up. You must be 16 years old to give blood, and if you are just 16, you must have a form signed by your parents. You must have a new form signed each time you give blood until you turn 17. You can get this form from Mrs. Nothen or Mrs. Elser. Please save a life. Give blood. Attention. Students who plan on attending driving training school, please see Mr. Nees for a $25 off discount coupon to Northwestern Ohio Driver Training School. Get them while they last. Sophomores, Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award essays are due to Mr. Nees by today at 3 p.m. There will be a short Interact meeting on Wednesday, October 26 at 7.40 a.m. in Mrs. Mazur's room. Come learn what we are all about and get signed up. Hope to see you there. Attention junior class, this is a reminder that next Wednesday, October 26th, your wreath fundraiser with money are due to Mrs. Lupo in the office. Get, there, get out there and sell, sell, sell. Tiffin University will be here on Thursday the 20th at 1240 and the University of Toledo will be here Friday the 21st at 1240. See Mrs. Bassett for a pass. Students, just a reminder that if you lose your ID card, they are $5 to replace. Please make sure you are keeping them in a safe spot. This week is National Teen Driver Safety Week. This is a good opportunity for parents to talk to their children about driving safety. Here are some 2014 National Teen Crash members. numbers. We encourage parents to stress safety by requiring everyone to buckle up, limiting the number of riders in a student's car, and stressing the need to focus on the act of driving. Kiwana Student of the Month permission slips are due today. Seeing how Mrs. Meister only has a couple, I am guessing many of you forgot them. Please get them to Mrs. Meister Monday. Congratulations to the 5th and 6th grade Williams County Quiz Bowl team. After going undefeated to the final round on Thursday night, Brian's Quiz Bowlers came in as runner-up to Stryker. Great job to the future Jeopardy contestants. The fall play, The Liar, by David Ives is coming soon. It's a comedy. You'll be laughing from start to finish at the hilarious mistaken identities and mixed up situations. Come and support your classmates November 11th through the 13th. Tickets are on sale now at bhstheater.tix.com or at the high school office. Anyone interested in high school girls or boys bowling, please sign up in the athletic office. Tryouts in the first day of bowling practice will be Monday, November 7th at 3.30 p.m. at the Bryan Lanes. Just a reminder to any person interested in winter athletics that was not involved in a fall sport, if you have not turned in your paperwork, you need to do so as soon as you can. Please turn in paperwork to the athletic office. In the sectional finals for volleyball, the Golden Bears fell to the Rough Riders in three sets. Ryan finishes the season with an overall record of 14-10 and 10 and a lead rec league record of 4-3. and three. Congratulations, Lady Bears, on the final season. Pre-sale tickets for this week's football game with Patrick Henry will be on sale in the athletic office from 8 to 3. Ticket prices are $6 for adults and $4 for students. All tickets at the gate are $6. Friday football host Patrick Henry. This will be our cure game. Dress in pink to show support for those who have fought or are fighting cancer. Bundle up with a nice cup of joe. Have a great weekend, Bryan City Schools. Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Afternoon Show. I'm your host, Eric Gendron. And for tonight's first guest, we have a senior attract runner, a Pokemon master, and currently the cross-country team captain, Jared Kepler. And for tonight's second guest, we have a dancer, a girls' tennis team player, and his girlfriend, Sloane Brown. Welcome to the show, guys. Okay. Thanks for having us. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> so, for, t for today's game, we're playing Would You Rather. And what I did is I pulled the BCT class and asked them what they would rather do. And I'm giving each of them two questions. I'm going to give the first question to Sloan. Okay. Sloan, would you rather run at 50 miles an hour or fly? Oh, I said wrong. Would you rather run <laughs> at 100 miles per hour at, or fly at 50? Um, I would rather fly at 50. Let's see the results. 88.9% said, said they would rather fly at 50 miles per hour. Jared, you have the second question. Would you rather find a suitcase with five billion dollars or find true love? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather find true love. Let's see what the results. 62.5% said they would rather find true love. 
found that rather disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other percent said they would rather find five million. Okay. So the next question I'm going to ask Sloan again. Would you rather live without the internet or live without toilets? Oh. <laughs> um, this is sad to say, but I'd probably rather live without toilets. <laughs> Let's see what they said. 77.8% said they would rather live without the internet. Ooh, which means they dang. prefer toilets. So the last question. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? I'd rather live under the sea. Let's see what they said. 66.7% said they would rather live under the sea. Well, due to, due to the fact that Kepler guessed two right and Sloan guessed one right, I think the winner is <laughs> Sharon Kepler. Dang. Thank you for watching this episode of the Afternoon Show. I'm Eric Jenvin. This is Jared Kepler and Sloan Brown, and that's the phone ringing. See you next time. <laughs>